Hi everyone. This is a video about how to recover data from a broken phone. Well, not a broken phone, but if your phone has like a cracked screen. And I just want to make it clear that you can't have a dead phone in order for this to work. If you have a completely dead phone or a bricked phone, this is not going to work if that is the case. This video is for people who have a cracked screen. So the phone is fine, the phone is charging, the phone charges up fine, it turns on and off fine, but if your phone's got a crack on the screen, then chances are you're not able to actually maneuver it. You're not able to control the phone, basically. And what that means is sometimes data gets stuck on the internal storage. If you haven't got an SD card, then you store everything on the internal storage and everything will get stuck on the internal storage and you're not able to back it up if uh, and or delete it. And if that is the case, I found that this worked very well because yesterday I had this experience where I panicked basically because it, everything was stuck on on my phone, on not this phone, but on my other phone. And as you know, I've been having problems with my Doogie F5 and things like that. So, yeah, and I found that this was a lifesaver, basically, because what happened was, luckily, I'd installed, uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. I was really lucky, and I wanted to share this with everyone, how to recover data from a uh, broken, uh, not a broken phone, cracked screen. Um, I should write, how, hang on a minute, I would Google something. I would just, uh, just want to Google something. Um, Yeah, as you can see, um, the reason I'm Googling this is because this is such a common search. A lot of people want to know what, how to recover it if it's got a uh, cracked screen, basically, how to retrieve data. Look at that. I broke my phone. I broke it. Can you see that? Um, hang on a minute. I will show you. Yeah, can you see there? It says I broke my screen pretty good. Doesn't display anything. The phone still boots up and I'm, so that, that is it. If that's your problem, I've got the solution. Um, yes. This is, so as you can see, there's so many different methods that they recommend to you. And I found, I tried all of this when I was desperate yesterday. I tried every single one of these. And I found it did not work, basically. It's too complicated for an ordinary person to be able to do. Um, yeah, look at that. It's going on about, it is going on about some rubbish like UMS mode. I don't know what the hell that is, to be honest. I'm not an expert on those things. And this would be too difficult to uh, do. So I've got an easy method. I know an easy method on how to do this. And that's what I'm going to show you, basically. And I just want to say that before you do this, like I mentioned, um, this th this is the condition for it. This is the prerequisites, basically. If this isn't your problem that I've just highlighted, then I can't help you here. That's all I can tell you. But if this is your problem, then I've got the solution. It's quite simple. You need... to go over here on AirDroid. It's this app called AirDroid, and there you go. It's AirDroid. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's quite a popular app. But what it does is it does all kinds of things, basically. You can transfer files. You can access the internal storage using that. You can see your SD card, your internal storage. Um... 
and this is the best part you can mirror the phone what this means is that i know how to explain it to you this can mirror the phone this means that you're able to use your phone from your computer directly see you can play clash of clans uh as you can see in this picture you can play clash of clans directly from this if you see what i'm saying um or whatever you want you so you can mirror the phone i'm going to show you how that works so once you okay i'm not going to install this now. i'm not going to open this now i already got it installed i'm not going to open this now the reason i'm not going to open this now is because basically this my personal information on there and i don't want to put it on the internet that's why i don't want to open it but what you have to do is you have to install this it's quite easy to do it's very easy to do you just install it uh the setup is really easy there's nothing i don't even need to bother showing you that it's really straightforward very straightforward very easy um but what it does once you've installed it you can then go on any computer you don't need to download anything on the computer go on any computer you want go on any computer you want and see this is the desktop you go on any computer you want and you can this happens you get this website yes you get this website you can go on or uh, once you've installed android you can go on any computer you want wherever you are whether you're at work or in the library anywhere you want and just log in and lo and behold you'll be able to just access everything the files everything remotely and oh one more thing the phone in question the phone in question needs to be turned on and it needs to have a wifi connection or a 3g connection will work as well it needs to have either a 3g or a wifi connection in order for this to work otherwise it won't work but if you if there's something wrong with your screen and it costs thousands of dollars to uh replace the screen then you can just do this basically it's quite simple to access from the screen and i just want to show you um so yeah once you've installed it you can just access the phone anywhere and this happens when you can't plug it into your usb because the screen is cracked and this works even when the screen is cracked i found this out that it does work and i was able to recover everything and you know the best part this was the best part about this app for me i was able to even factory reset it because you can mirror the screen you can just factory reset the whole phone from the device as well which is handy if you can't turn it on or off and you you're trying to sell the phone or something like that so yeah and i will leave more detailed description below here so thank you very much for watching